What's up everybody? Fox and Nick really rule here. Today I'm going to do an approval on Sul on Sullivan's video saying you shouldn't be involved in any drama on social media. Basically, it's like about when when someone does something mean to you. That doesn't necessarily mean you should do something back. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Shall we? Yeah. Hey guys, Sean Sullivan here, and I'm making this video to talk about the Beyond and YouTube drama that's been going on in the community overall in 2021. So, strap in tight because I got a lot of things to talk about. In case you're wondering where I am, I'm not in my usual setting. I am actually in Turks and Caicos for the week. As you can tell, because the... Looks like a very nice place to go. I want to go there one day. O Ocean breeze. So today, this this commentary is going to be uh, a lot serious because there's been a lot of drama going on in the Beyond and YouTube community in tw as of 2021. And let me just say, this Beyond and YouTube drama is sick. I really agree with that, Sean Sullivan. It's been pretty toxic to me, too. <laughs> I don't know why it's sick. Because, for one, the handle hate term. I used, Nowadays, I find that term to be kind of toxic because not everyone... I mean, I can handle my hate well. But, I mean, I know some people who can't handle their hate because I'm aut as they're autistic. Fun fact, um... Back when I first made videos in 2014 and 2015, I couldn't handle my hate at all. I have autism. So, I can understand why it used to be hard for you to handle your hate. Everyone has to handle hate right away. And besides, a, a, a person might have a hard time hand, dealing with hate because they have autism. I have autism myself, but and I can handle hate, but not everyone can. Like I said, that was me back in 2014 and 2015 when I first had a channel. Also, you should also give that person time to improve gracefully without any interruptions. I had a bully back in 2018. And then he didn't get better until November 2019 because I gave him a super long break. It was I had a goal in 2019 where I didn't want to say a word to him until November when things got better with him. The boy is anonymous, by the way. And no one really handles opinions anymore, which is getting into my next topic. The what? People bash opinions? People can have whatever opinions they want. They should know that by now. <laughs> if you like this user, don't trust him or her term. I also find that term to be kind of toxic because it basically counts as bashing opinions. And I'll agree with you on that. I'm starting to hate the criminal supporter term too. And also that if you don't like this user, I suggest you don't trust him or her. I agree with that actually. And um, people think that term is advice when it isn't. This term is actually mostly used on what I'm gonna talk about next. The so-called criminals. Now this is just kind of, this is just wrong in my opinion. Not nowadays, not back then, but I thought criminals uh, gets grounded videos and making videos out of them was funny, but nowadays it's not because one, it's just gonna make the criminals more and more angry, and two, it doesn't really do anything to them. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Fun fact: when I did a video where I take away evil horse serial killer's computer. He made one out of me back, and then we became even. So yeah, you're right about that, Sean Sullivan. I totally agree on all this. So what's even the point in making those videos? And users like Jay Kaiser, Jonah Campbell, um, Ryan the Teen Boy 2K7, Chase the Stick Figure, are all described as criminals. Just because they did one thing, I agree, that doesn't mean they're necessarily criminals. And 
I, I have no opinion on Jay Kaiser these days, but... Neither do I. Just because someone does something bad doesn't mean they're a criminal. That's right, Sean Sullivan. We sh he should all know that. Because if they were actually a criminal, they would have been in jail. And that's why the Beyond and YouTube community has been looking like a living hell. And yep, that's right. Also, now I'm going to talk about the criminal supporter term. This term is just toxic because it all, that term also counts as bashing opinions. I thought that term was was a make sense term, but actually it doesn't. I agree, actually. It bashes opinions. I totally agree with you on that. There's no doubt the Vyond slash GoAnime community is so toxic. Because people can like that user if they want to. I mean, it's their choice, and they can choose who, who to trust, who to like, and whatnot. Now, th when I say this, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite here. I'm just saying, like, how I feel about the Beyond and YouTube drama. Don't worry. You can express your feelings however you want. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to talk about making fake accounts on YouTube. Like, for example, we don't need user anymore. I just find these accounts to be terrible because it doesn't really do anything to the other user that you're framing the, that their profile pic and putting in all of it. Okay, so all basic, that basically is is putting a user's profile pic and then putting a cross mark over it to, as a sign to say we don't need, for instance, Jay Kaiser anymore. That's just cyberbullying. I so agree with that. If you watch my video, um, I put that term in a nutshell because I don't like that term either. You are so right about that. Whether if it's a, on a good person or a bad person, it still counts as cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to talk about trolling. I find trolling to be very toxic because... I have friends that create fake accounts and use them to troll um, other Instagram users, and that is just wrong. It doesn't matter whether it's Instagram or YouTube, it's still bad. Either way, that you're right. The best way, and also there's a lot of trolling going on in YouTube. I'm not just talking about Beyond in YouTube, I'm just talking about any social media website. Um, oh yeah, the best way to deal with a troll, because they're obviously going to do this this crap for attention. Users like Ichi Tomoe and Evil Yellow Horse, the serial killer UTTP, and a whole lot of other trolls only do this, do this for attention. The best way to deal with users like them is to just block them, report them, and ignore them. That's what I've done. Most of the time, except for my playlist called "These Videos Suck." I'm glad you're starting to be more on my side compared to most other users. Because what's even the point in making videos about them? Because they're just gonna make more do this crap for attention. Because trolls want attention. That's right. That's what we talked about earlier with those other videos. Now I'm going to talk about confronting. Like, you, that, that also is very toxic because confronting, you're not even confronting them in the right way or the right context. And that also kind of connects with, like, a hate speech. Well, that doesn't really connect with hate speech, but I'm going to get to that topic. So now I'm going to talk about hate speech, harassment, and cyberbullying. Now, for hate speech, this is where I got my two community guideline strikes. Hate speech is just never okay. That's right. 
Even if someone does something mean to you, two wrongs don't equal a right. Because all it basically is, is promoting hate against other individuals and making videos about them. And they can like literally harass you and it causes the person you are targeting to feel extremely down. So what's even the point in making that anymore? And also, you, you could get a community guideline strike for that. Yeah, that, that's what happened to you, pretty sure. And I, I hope your community guideline strikes are going away, but still, I, I didn't make videos like that, so I guess that explains why my channel is still good. Don't worry, yours is still good too. Don't worry. <laughs> And also, for cyberbullying and harassment, it's basically like where you send someone like threatening messages or emails or text or uh, texts, and basically just bullying someone online. That's what cyberbullying is. Whether if you're addressing it on a good person or a bad person, it's still not a good thing. I agree. It's never okay to cyberbully, period. And especially with these how how the user sings videos. Nowadays, I, I'm starting to lose interest on these videos because it's basically just uh, framing someone's real life face or their profile picture and just making them sing songs. Like that's just really toxic. I don't like those videos too. They're kind of boring. Thank God I never made those videos in the first place. I don't think you made them either, but I'm glad I didn't make them, period. And that all that's also a form of cyberbullying. Whether if you're addressing it on a good person or a bad person, it still counts as cyberbullying. And it's a big waste of freaking time. I so agree with you. You could be spending all that time um, making better videos, such as granted videos out of your backwards clones or a, a sh an episode of your new show, whatever you want to call it. I so agree with you on that, Sean. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, all, all those things I addressed are just a big waste of time. And also, here's another thing I want to talk about the rants and the commentaries. Nowadays, I find the rants to be like really toxic because all you're doing is just giving, um, well, some rants, uh, well, this is mostly Beyond Styled rants. I never really uh, liked Beyond Styled rants despite that I uh, made them to myself back in August, 2020. That's where my hate face uh, all came out, but I regret doing that now. I really hate Beyond Styled rants because all it basically does is just give out invalid reasons on why you hate the thing you're ranting on, and you, they, uh, in uh, Christmas Yes Sunny Day Knows rant, in multiple of his rants, he threatened a fictional cartoon dog, Chocolate, which is animal abuse. Christmas Yes Sunny Day Knows should never feed dogs chocolate. Feeding dogs chocolate is dog abuse. I agree with you on that. Thank God I never used that term. But also with the GoAnime style rants, I used to like them, but but now um, just thinking about them, treating the show like it's worse than Hitler, I don't like GoAnime style rants either. Or Vion style rants, whatever you want to call them. And that is also never okay on YouTube, ever. And it's not okay to make like roasting or confronting or exposing videos out of them because that's just gonna make them more and more angry you know what i regret doing that to ryan the team boy 2k7 when he killed when he quote unquote killed his dog i'm still neutral to him but uh still i'm 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 probably gonna go delete that video as soon as i finish the commentary I mean, the approval. My bad. Approval. And what's even the point in making that? So... You know, 
They're just a waste of time. That's what they are. A waste of time. That's for sure. <laughs> also, uh, I'm trying to make this video before January 2nd, 2022. Because a lot of users are discontinuing their rants, including Not Limited to, Laughing Bob 100, Fire Smash Bros. The Mega Ball Z, and other users that are discontinuing rants. I can handle their opinions on on the discontinuation of rants, but for me, I'm going to continue my rants. Most of my rants will be on days, though, like any of my bad days from, let's say, 2018 or 2016. <sighs> and I'm still going to salute on good days, like the ones from 2021, the ones from 2019, and other stuff. Julie and I are still going to do some rants out of some things we hate, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be days that I'll rant on by myself. So, whatever you do, guys, be careful on social media with what you post and what you say. Stay safe. Be careful what you post. That's right. Once you hit post, you, you can't take it back. Think before you hit post. If you don't want your parents, teacher, college, admissions director, or even your future employer to see what you're post, just don't post it. It's that simple. It could save you a lot of smiles. And that's for sure. And have a good day. Don't forget, Happy New Year, everyone. Well... Well, anyway, I totally agree with all the the crap on social media, such as the trolling and all that. We all need to ignore it. Let's keep it that way, and let's make that our New Year's resolution. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Happy New Year, everyone. Or Happy Early New Year would be a better way to say it. Happy Early New Year. Hope we make 2022 one of the best years ever. That's for sure. Let's do that. 2022 will be a great year at least. Anyway, this is Fox and Nick Really Rule signing off.